Cheers, guys. Okay, it's me again. You might be sick of me now. Yeah? We've covered quite a few topics on this channel recently. Today's date is Sunday the 22nd of October. I had to think about that for a second. And um, you won't be seeing this video for at least another couple of weeks until, uh, you know, I won't be releasing any of these videos until I am confident that, you know, I won't let myself down, that I won't let you guys down. And that, you know, I've, I've, got, I've got it, I've got this, you know what I mean? Because I'm here in Thailand at the moment, I'm using this time away from everything to do with the Western society, the Western world, the Western world of responsibilities and stresses and negativity. I'm away from it all at the moment. I'm off of social media. I've been off for three days and I've been off of alcohol for six days. And that has led me to this point. And this point is where I say goodbye to my... <laughs> oh God. Long time friend and enemy at times. Marijuana, cannabis, weed, green, bud, chronic, bush. Recently I've been preferring bush to be honest and I never thought I'd say that but I tell you what, some of this weed that's coming out these days, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's laced, I don't know if it's been sprayed with something, I don't know if it's just really, really, really potent because the hydroponic setups these days are just next level, I don't know. But it's too strong for me. It's too strong. Weed these days is not the weed of the 1970s. It's simply not. Ask anyone that was smoking it back then. It was light. It was airy. It was giddy. It didn't give you a hangover the next day, I don't think, unless you really smoked it like Snoop Dogg, but still. Now I'm just glorifying it, to be honest with you. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to make light of the situation, but really at the end of the day, I've had, I've, I have had a chronic addiction to the substance for 16 years and I'm 32. So that's half my life. That's half my life that I've been addicted to weed. And I, I, I'm, I'm not afraid to say that. Um, and I realized that when I was 18, can you believe that? In my first job, my first office job, um, I had continued the habits that I had in high school, which was smoking every single day, every single night with my mates until about two in the, two in the morning, and then getting up after four or five hours sleep, um, fucking running down to the, just completely just disorganized up in my head, unable to fucking stay awake at school, I was sleeping on my desk, everything went to shit because of this substance, but it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And so when I got my first job out of high school, I remember, you know, I, every morning I'd go in there and I'd think, fuck man, you've done it again. And this is at 18. I was going through this shit at 18, right? Didn't tell anyone because it was pretty accepted and I was still having fun. But that next day was not fun and I couldn't think straight. And here's me that went from, you know, a guy who really took pride in his, his schoolwork and getting straight A's and all that type of thing and then I actually ended up leaving school early because of this substance. Sorry the battery um, the battery ran out there. I think I was saying something along the lines of it led me to leave school and then in my first job even at the age of 18 I was already telling myself that I needed to stop this. 14 years later guys I'm still I would say addicted right? Certainly psychologically now, a brief overview of my story is that I started when I was 16. Um, I still did drink only on the weekends. And then when I was about 20, um, I, I really sort of turned to weed and I had that as a daily addiction and I didn't really drink. I was quite happy with just doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, playing a bit of sport, working a job, smoking weed every single night, playing, playing a a fair bit of PlayStation with a, a mate of mine who I caught up with most nights um, and just really uh, having the, the positive effects from it but it was still you know waking up subpar 
you know, still waking up pretty fucking groggy because I'd smoke copious amounts and we'd smoke it through bongs and we used to do fucking spots. Um, I will say that, you know, for the last couple of years, I haven't touched a bong. I haven't wanted anything really heavy. I've, so I've been slowly but surely sort of tapering off um, and I've only really smoked joints and small ones at that over the last couple of years, but still, still feeling very, very addicted. And so I went through from 16 to 29, completely and utterly addicted, smoked it pretty much every day, tried to quit many times and just let myself down over and over and over again. So there was a point there where I thought I'd be smoking for the rest of my life. And I just got so frustrated with it. I got so frustrated with the fact that I couldn't stop. And so at the age of 29, I decided, right, do whatever you have to do to not smoke. And little did I know that this substance called alcohol that I'd sort of stayed off for the majority of the last decade, um, it worked. It actually did. It worked as a substitute. And it allowed me to get off of, of weed. Um, Unfortunately, due to having, you know, an addictive mindset, I all I did was substitute one addiction with another. And so for the last three years, I've been battling alcohol addiction. Now, that initial uh, period of abstinence from weed lasted a couple of months. And then I, by that point, I was a couple of months on alcohol every day. And I thought, holy shit, this is even worse. This is even worse. I feel way worse drinking alcohol. So then I, I bought another big bag of weed and I said, basically I was telling myself the exact same things I was two months prior for the different substance. Okay, do anything you have to do to get off alcohol because it's just fucking you up. So then I went back to weed for two weeks. And then I realized, you know what? I want both. And so for the last two and a half years, if not more, I've been consuming both alcohol and marijuana in copious amounts and I haven't been able to get off either. Sadly. And I have been trying my best. I've been trying to maintain relationships. I've been trying to maintain a certain level of fitness. I've been trying to maintain jobs, uh, YouTube channels. And unfortunately, it just all got just way too much. And I, I, I realized that I just can't do this anymore. I cannot do this anymore. I am addicted to alcohol and, and drugs and they unfortunately over time you know take start to take priority over everything else and my life just became just me myself in a room content because i did have these substances and we're talking about weed today right so weed really did make me content really content to stay in the same place just you know um not trip out anymore because that's what weed is right it's a low level psychedelic i wasn't tripping anymore i haven't tripped for a long time but i'm just content to just stay where i'm at and 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 you know consume whatever content um, i'm doing because you know for a long time i really enjoyed getting outside i really i, I smoked weed before i played played sport i smoked weed before I, I went to the gym i smoked weed before i did anything and to me, it was making it more fun. It was making any situation I was in fun. That's why I did it. That was my firm, wholehearted belief for a long time. But that fun feeling, once I had more responsibilities in life, you know, that, that feeling of smoking it and going and doing something and enjoying it and not really worrying about anything, that wasn't the case anymore. And those fun sort of excited feelings manifested into worry and anxiety and then which would then manifest in you know pains in my chest and, and, and panic attacks and that type of thing. Now that doesn't happen every time I smoke but if I do have some stresses in life, if I do have some responsibilities that I know I need to take care of and I go and smoke instead of doing that, it doesn't, it doesn't make me feel good. I, I, I have severe panic attacks and it's, it's just like, fuck man. Uh, all I want to, all I want, all I want is to go to sleep, wake up the next day and for those feelings to be gone. And they do, they do, they disappear. That's the good thing with weed is that whatever you're feeling that night before, once you do sleep it off, it's, it's gone and you sort of reset. And I think that's what I enjoyed about it. You know, it's just that reset feeling that reset feeling. You don't dream um, much 
All right, I've had some more battery issues. Look, I better, I think it's, yeah, I think that's um, the universe telling me to wrap this up for now at least. What I want fundamentally out of, out of quitting this is some control, is feeling like I'm actually in control of my life, um, feeling like I, I, you know, I can insert myself into any situation without having to know that I can have a smoke after or before. Um, it is a hindrance to me. It's affecting my life negatively. That's what an addiction is. Something that you keep doing over and over again, although it's affecting your life negatively. And then every now and then, right, I'll have a time where I do smoke it and I do really, really enjoy it. And it takes me back to those initial days, those initial feelings, right? But that doesn't happen very often. But when it does, what I feel like that is doing, and it's almost as if once I've told myself, right, nah, you're quitting, right? You're, you're, you're quitting, that's it. Once I've made that decision, the next time I smoke is a really, really enjoyable, pleasurable experience. And I feel like that is the medicine. And that's what it is, it's a plant medicine, right? That is the medicine trying to talk me into continuing to smoke. That is, that is it trying to lure me back in. Because I've made that decision. I've, I've said no. These, it's making me feel like shit. I, I need to quit for, for these reasons. I've drawn a line in the sand. And then I go and smoke that one time extra. And it's a really nice experience. And that's happened many times. And that is the medicine trying to pull me back in. That's straight up, that's what it is. That's what I believe anyway. So 32, six days into quitting alcohol. And as of tomorrow, I will be a few hours into quitting weed. It's a, it's a vlog series I wanna to bring to the channel. I'm gonna be going through some pretty fucking hectic withdrawal symptoms, I think. Um, my levels of toxicity are really high at the moment. I've been smoking some really strong stuff and I've been smoking quite a bit of it, especially over these last few days to help with the withdrawals from, from alcohol. So um, it's not gonna be easy, I feel like Sleep is going to be hard to come by. My appetite's probably going to be down. My digestive system's probably going to be all out of whack. But those are symptoms that I need to get through. And there's only one way you get through them, and that's to, to get through them. So, <laughs> now that I've said all this, I assume my last experience with it, my final smoke, will be enjoyable. Or at least I hope it will be. Because that's the, that's, that's, that's the green bitch trying to get me back on board. But I'm off, I've jumped. But I just want one more. Or do I? I don't know.